Alright, so I am playing Drinky Skyrim again with my friend Terry. Terry? Hello. Yeah. So I'm, I'm moving my mic a little further away this time because I think... Oh, is that nocturnal? Yeah, it's uh, Tits Daedra. Tits Daedra. So, uh -huh. as you can tell, I've been playing since the last time we spoke. The hell are... Are you in hell? I don't know. I drink a lot, Terry. <laughs> That's, it's important for you to remember that. Um, oh, Sorry. I'm hunting a werewolf. There's a oh, werewolf. I see. Oh, I, oh I remember this bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Random chests in the water. That's where I store my chests. That's why I have the dwarven helmet. That thing is hell useful. The other option is becoming one of those dirty, stinking, amphibious reptile men. Not racist. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just can't trust anything that Kirk's fought. Oh, hey, it's good. Cool. You, why? No, you why? Oh yeah. No, yeah. I um. Yeah. All right, so that's a werewolf. Yeah, it's totally a werewolf. Um, and I would like to take its soul. Although this feels really cutsceney. But the thing I love about Frostbite Venom is that there's never a wrong time for Frostbite Venom. It's cheap, it's plentiful, it's shit. You put it on anything. I can put it on a sandwich if I wanted to. <laughs> ah, this sandwich causes me physical pain, but at least I'm using my Frostbite Venom. Yeah, and it's not, it's not a lot of physical pain. It's just yeah. a little bit. All right. <laughs> I, don't I think you detect. got... Ooh, that did not... I think you just started the thing rather than actually dealing damage to it. Yeah, he um, he did not seem very phased by that. But it's cool. I'm sure there are other things I can shoot in here. I mean, if there weren't, how lame would that be? I mean, people don't build stairs like this unless there's something I can shoot at on the top of them. Have you been so. walking through Skyrim? I find random staircases in the middle of the wilderness all the time. Some of those are on roads. Finest is public works. Actually, given given the state of most of Skyrim, it's probably not a public's work issue. It's probably like a private entrepreneur who needed steps to his estate who was then killed by a vampire. I am, I am being very... <laughs> I'm not rich. I barely have 2,000 gold. Like, that horse almost cleaned me out. I meant by you the vampire. Oh, yeah, no, I'm hella vampire. Yeah, I've killed a lot of rich people in my day. I Yeah, no, I'm the other side of that equation. Certainly. Certainly. You're like a hobbit touching a web. <laughs> I want to know what it feels like. <laughs> and that werewolf could be at the top of any one of these ledges. Any one of them. Even... No, I remember that one. That uh, ledge right there. So... Look, <laughs> bone rattle, or bone uh, chimes, or whatever. Yeah. The great thing is, whenever I go, werewolf, I have a little icon that literally tells me they're wolf. <laughs> ah. You also have icons that tell you they're castle. Hey, it's a Sarasuna. I get the feeling... You ever get the feeling in this game like you just walked in the middle of someone else's quest? You're like, I should have known these guys. I wonder if I had made different decisions if I could have had a drink with these guys at a bar. And if I'm supposed to be feeling bad about their deaths now, because I don't. <laughs> also, who would be friends <laughs> I mean, with someone with such shit gear? I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm also wearing shit gear. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> right on your own. of shit gearsons. This is a fine fur-lined and uh, bracer. Great for, you know, just general adventuring, preventing bowstring and uh, lashings on your forearm. I mean, it keeps you warm. What about everything up to the shoulder? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> not in Skyrim. Now. <laughs> My wooden shoes and wicker helmet will protect me from all harm. <laughs> I've crafted them myself. Now, of all the useless bags of flour I've got. Oh, wow, nice. Nice bats. Impressed. Yeah, those bats uh, came out of, and were like, they were all batty. <laughs> well, it's like, you, you do see, like, the occasional bird and shit in here, but very rarely do they put, like, a flock of animals directly in your fucking face, you know? 
I know. I mean, you go into caves all the time, and usually the only things in there are things you're fighting. Yeah, it's a pretty sterile <laughs> environment for all the, the openness. <laughs> After the last time, I uh, oh, just... Shit. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking, he does not seem phased at all by these arrows. Do wolves have a natural resistance to arrows? Because, yes. <laughs> Yeah, let's see how this works out. Yeah, I think poorly. I think poorly is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> for all no, that no. fur, they burn like shit. It's like wet kindling. <laughs> well, they, uh, their, f their fur uh, flame retardant. They eat a lot of asbestos. I don't know. <laughs> they apparently do. I need to start collecting all those as, as the best as mushrooms that werewolves apparently eat in Skyrim. Because, damn. No, no, please, take your time. Finish drinking those potions. I'm in no hurry. <laughs> Every enemy in Skyrim is just so polite. It's like, while I, while I take all these potions. <laughs> That's right, I decided on flight over flight. Flight over flight. So that's yeah. good. And oh, you failed. Ooh, more again. bats. That'll distract them. <laughs> it's like every time I pass by that place, I'm just going to send more bats at my face. That's amazing. Yeesh. Wow. Oof. Oh. Boy. <laughs> I'm like the burner on the stove that won't turn off. But... There's this, yeah, oh, yeah, I'll do that. I need that option for more guys. Ah! Are you Obi-Wan? And <laughs> found my favor. He is Obi-Wan. That skin will serve you well, child. Thanks, motherfucker. I mean, oh, how interesting. Look more closely at it. My glory shall protect you from all this world's grievances. Buddy, I think you've vastly Good underestimated hunting. the number of grievances supplied by this world. Because, uh, it's a lot. I predict good things for Kate McKinnon's future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I know enough. I know enough about Skyrim, but I will be working for every Daedra. They're all gonna need like a dude killed, or like a tomb found, or some laundry washed, or something that I, the Dovahkiin, am gonna end up doing for them. So, I remain unimpressed. Mhm. Mm Get me that book. It's literally two spaces away. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just get me the book. <laughs> I do collect uh, troll here. skulls, by the way. And it's so weird that I cannot harvest those from skull from actual trolls. It's like I'm I sorry, just killed. Like, I didn't. I didn't see a D skuller as a you know list on your skills. I'm just saying troll skulls exist. I've seen them places. I have stolen... Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good gear, actually. Um, that's uh, where you're mistaken. Troll skulls exist, and trolls exist, and never yeah. shall the twain meet. <laughs> Apparently not. I can't argue with you on that one. So... Yeah, that's way better than the restoration junk I'm wearing. So, anyway... Um, I think... I think I'm gonna go ahead and loot this place for every septum it's worth, and then um, get the fuck out of here. And see what else I can live in fire, because I'm sure there's a lot of things I can live in fire. You know, I like how he said that. Uh, that'll protect you from all of this world's, world's perils. It's like, okay, 15%, it's armor, that's one. It's 15% magic reduction, 50% poison reduction. You know, I know if I got a personal, uh, say, bulletproof vest, I'd totally look on it and say, all right, we'll protect up to 15% of the bullet impact. <laughs> well, yay. I mean, yay? I feel I would have felt as if I was oversold. And I do feel as if I have been slightly oversold on this. You know, like I don't, not 100% all the world's grievances. Maybe I just, I mean, percent of the world's grievances. The only that thing that based. thing has, yeah, oh, more bats. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the same bats. I, I, I'm, just come back. The trained bats. I, I'm bat, baby. <laughs> Werewolves have two skills: dying in a fire and training bats. 
It's, it's their core competencies. Uh, I hope you have a horse outside of here. Well, of course, I got Sparkle Lord 1. I mean, Sparkle Lord. That's kind of negative thinking, huh? <laughs> it's no, I mean, no, totally. Just Sparkle, that's helpful. Spend a thousand dollars for that horse, he means a lot to me. It's irreplaceable. Ooh. I got some bad news for you then. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you like that lady in town who won't read my fortune? I, I wish I knew how to make her read my fortune and be super helpful. But anyway, this place is so misty, right? Yeah, you're right. Everyone... And it was, was it not daytime just a few minutes ago? I guess it was getting to be night. That would explain the hell environment. <laughs> The, the the ruddish hue of the sunlight. So, wasn't there... The only time Sky, uh, Skyrim receives, mm. like, direct light from the sun is at dawn and sunset. Yeah, there was some a-hole over here, right? That I didn't feel bad about not sealing things from? I thought you already passed him. It's a bucket. Was a... I guess I did. Right. Well, I see Kate McKinnon's also part walrus. Look, I take everything I can. I take it all. It's all worth gold. Leave no junk behind. Uh, to have a bag of holding. Mm. If only for the weight considerations. So, um... Yeah, how about that Super Bowl, huh? Like, that's... Ah, wow. Can you believe they won it? And in, like, such a fashion as well. There we go. I knew there was I'm a chest. Right here. Oh, hey, a chest. Now, as you and I talk about this, after the Super Bowl of February twenty first, twenty fifteen, are we are we not amused by that which we watched and enjoyed greatly in the past? Yes, I watched the Super Bowl. It was super. Who could even? And the commercials were hilarious, were they not? I, I yes, I. They were, and I watched them, not on YouTube, but live. Indeed, I was humored by the brands shown and their clever innovation in terms of advertising. Me too. I found it very hilarious, whatever those brands they were trying to sell me were. Oh, indeed. In fact, they were so humorous, I hardly even noticed the brands. That's I hoped that, should I have a child, they would pursue a feature in advertising. That's a terrible thing to ask of your child. I mean, how do you know that they'll be born with Down syndrome? <laughs> uh, more bats. Those are definitely different bats, though. So thank God. Thank God for the different bats. Uh, yes. This is one of those areas that's circular. Yeah, but it's, no, it's just... kind of, it can be hard, hard to pinpoint where that exit is at the uh, one end of the circle. Well, it's not hard to pinpoint. It's just hard to get to whenever I'm stealing everything that's not tied down. Whenever I'm stealing everything that's inside of a dead body that's no, not Chris, tied down. You've been here. This woman has been derobed. I, that's, that's how I know my job is complete. No, she's not empty, uh, don't, though. Don't, don't sleep See, she's full it. of things. I haven't completely looted her. As the Dovahkiin, I have a keen sense for when a body or a chest or a group of drawers is empty versus when they are not empty. And I just take everything on to me. I'm just like clanking and clacking out of here like the, the old 49er. <laughs> you ever like, notice that caves are oddly lit? I mean, all the time. <laughs> everything's oddly lit. But there's a great, there's a great thing in Tumblr that... Um, it's a letter Q, and then it goes Drager, 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 Quest, Drager, 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 and then a line, it says Cliff, and then it has an exit, and that's basically, basically how all of these are designed. So you just go, you come in from an entrance, you go in a big circle, you fall off a cliff by the exit, and then you leave again. It's, um, nothing against it. I'm sorry, are you not happy with the ancient Nord sacred burial tombs that you're robbing? Well, I'm just questioning. I'm perhaps wondering why they're so quaint or queer. 
It's um. Tell you what, maybe when they bu- maybe when they build your burial tomb, you can fill it with something other than Draeger. Uh, let's see. How about how about giant spiders? Oh nope, done that. And fluffy uh, ducks. Ooh, be ooh. fluffy ducks. Fluffy <laughs> ducks. Magic resistance. <laughs> What's in your tombstone? Fluffy ducks. Pit traps. So I'm telling you, one good pit trap would basically spell the end of the Dova King. Yeah, a good 50, 100 foot pit trap. Bam. Right, so this, isn't, this isn't too no. hard. I'm just going to. Without fall softening water underneath. <laughs> I'm just going to jump on these rocks and keep going. Hey, I've made a career of jumping on rocks as Dova King. Well, when I played Mercenaries, Mercenaries are one of my favorite games. Um, I was the Humvee master. I would drive a Humvee up a nearly sheer surface simply to get around one part or another of North Korea. So, whoa, I am whoa, the whoa, Humvee whoa. master. Not North Korea. Not. Mountains is mountains. Whether they are in Skyrim, comma, Temeriel, or North Korea, like comma, it's a not. mountain. Whether it's a horse or a Humvee, it doesn't matter. I, Kate McKinnon, and the Humvee Master. So, never doubt my ability to scale a, a sheer or nearly sheer cliff in order to get to a random point on a map. Yeah. You, you know what? Now that you mention it, I agree. I think you're right. Fire? Kate McKinnon is probably the master of hum- the Hummer. Ah, bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> There, there was a fire here, right? There, there was there something was a with a the fire. There's, there something, was, there's definitely something on fire over there. It was on fire with a fire that I had not started, which is just which is only like ten percent of the fires. It's ten percent of all fires in Tim Ariel. Yeah. I mean, you, last time I saw something like that, it was two necromancers going at it. Yeah. yeah. You know, for all their necromancing, they sure throw around a lot of not necromancing. I'm just saying. Stupid fire. Come think of it, I think the only is that the only spell you have in the game that just drains life is actually uh, a vampire only ability. Yeah, yeah, which uh, glad I don't have, but it's a good it's a good ability to have, you know. To um... why don't you have it? Have you not been pre? Have you been feeding overly much? No, I, have. I don't. I don't. I don't even know how to feed. Honestly, I um, if I do have it, I, I, it's not as good as flames, so I don't use it as much. So. Uh, now that is true. You know, it does a little bit of damage, gets you a little bit of health, but that axe they're using always seems to take the health away far quicker. Yeah, and besides, what am I going to do? Make them a vampire too? No, they're going to be dead in two minutes. What the fuck do I care? I always like, thought it was weird. Here, basically, a vampire could punch. The, Vampirism into Yeah, that's basically what we're doing, just punching vampires in. Oh, did I actually hit a thing? I, I don't know. What were you oh, using? it's my horse. Okay. I I had suspected my horse was up here, but I didn't. Way to go, Sparkle Lord. Way to wait for me, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see you, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, way not to kill anything while I was gone. Oh, he probably killed things. He has probably killed an entire crypt while I was gone. I'm assuming I'm gonna return to White Run. I like White Run. Like I don't, I don't know what design thoughts went into White Run. That um, convenient layout, which with also great flavor. I mean, it's one of the few places to me that feels like a like a real city that like bustling town without actually being the size of an actual nice city smiling. or town. Yeah. When nothing here is the scale. Like, this is a town of, like, a thousand people with, like, 20 people in it. But, um... Well, each of those people represents one billion people. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I guess it has a lot of merchants. It doesn't really have a flavor. I haven't been to Markar, so I don't know what's up with that. But Riften's obviously full of thieves and liars. Hello, in the need market to be put to the sword. To a man. <laughs> All of them. Um... Take now, then you're going to have a fun time in Markov. Yeah, um, Morsold, I think I... I think I, I don't know if I've been there before, actually. I've been to a couple of them. I can't remember. Like, one of them is full of jerks. 
But they're like rural jerks. They're farmer jerks, you know? So who the fuck cares? Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's unload some of this bullshit I've got. Uh, so anyway... Ancient um, Nord arrows. See you know how many ancient Nords I had to kill? Get those? <laughs> 205. <laughs> Are you kidding? Do you know how many Nords I had to let put arrows into my ass for that? 205. <laughs> so, it's an oddly specific target. <laughs> I never, think you're facing the wrong... I think you're doing it wrong. I've never asked him why the place is called the Drunken Mare, because I, I couldn't possibly give a single shit. For your Not possible for me. I always forget to do trades with my, my trading gear. Because I am... I am a stupid asshole sometimes, sir. Raven or That's a rookie mistake. It not. We, what are you hunting? Is there a Never. hag raven? I thought they just I had hags. And then I guess not ravens. Are you sure hag ravens? Whatever. Just give me the it's, money, motherfucker. There's hags, there's ravens, and then there are hag ravens. It's Show me a, the money, fellow highborn. Oh, Ebony greatsword, though. It's two-handed. And, I got, and, worth, yeah. and worth all his money. <laughs> uh, God, stupid <laughs> I really wish in uh, this menu you'd be able to see what your weight is as you're selling. Uh, it'd be so helpful. <laughs> I'm just trying to get rid of shit. But, um... Oh, really, these, you it's, know, it's, these axes and bows look like guard axes and bows. Oh, you must be like a blacksmith who makes this stuff for them, right? Lots of bandits use this gear. I... Uh, so you're saying you make gear for bandits? Woo! <laughs> I don't really. I'm. I've really done a lot of a lot of blacksmithing. So, oh yeah, shields. Don't need shields. You know, the best defense is a good offense. That's why I always say. And the best offense is fucking fireballs. See, I'm That's still carrying too much to be able to run. So, whatever. Well. Get ready to walk your ass to the blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Let's see what happens then. <laughs> oh, hell no, I'm not selling All that. the locksmiths. Mm. <laughs> Have hook. Mm. I do stick. want to wring every ounce of <laughs> coin I can out of this motherfucker. Apples? Hey, what else am I going to do with them, you know? No, no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> no value in a sack of flour, huh? A staple food food product, and there's just no market for it. Sure. Sure, you stupid asshole. What's that got to do with the price of rice? Do they have rice? They yeah, will. I don't think they have brass. Probably not. It's all flour and windmills. It's medieval Europe. You know, one flavor or the other. Yeah. Uh, what is it? The game, uh... RPG, Legend of the Five Rings. Okay. Their coinage is based off of... <laughs> each coin is supposed to represent X number of bags of rice. As, as a means of currency or resources? Yeah, as, as in the, uh, this is how, uh, this is what their, their, uh, currency is based off of, rice. Not gold, there's no gold standard or silver standard. Mm. It's rice, it's food. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. And um, it, and it's, uh, fluctuates in value based on how much rice was available that season. That's interesting, it'd be an interesting way to run a role-playing game. Yeah. Um... And since it, you know, and since it is a essentially a Japo, Chinese, Korea, West people make a role playing game about Eastern people. Yeah. Yes, setting. Setting <laughs> it, it, it works since that's the staple. It's like yeah. the the baseline yeah, food. And also since it's inferred that the peasantry uses, you know, trades goods rather than actual money for things. I, I would love to actually see uh, like a movie or an RPG based on the opposite, where like sacks of flour in mead are, are the basis of used currency and everybody is like a secret knight who retired from it. Like, <laughs> ah yes, but I am a secret knight who has studied the code of chivalry. <laughs> and there's like a greatsword somewhere that they hack someone into pieces with. <laughs> it's just... 
Uh, I've sold so many black mages robes to this guy. Oh god, yeah, I know they're helpful. They're yeah, helpful, man. I mean, they're they're cheap. They don't weigh much. Uh, and he just goes, yeah, I'll buy your black robes. No one else in this freaking town will, but you know what? Uh, there's a thriving market for necromancer robes. <laughs> yeah, we don't even care. No questions asked. I do love this guy because he will buy fucking anything. I got tons of shit. I sell it to him all the fucking time. Fuck him. I don't think I'll ever forgive the Dawn Guard expansion engine because he gets he got killed in it for the for me. What? I, what va- the vampire tax. Vampire tax. Va- vampire tax is... I do not approve of any vampire attacks that aren't me being a vampire and attacking things. Well, first of all, well, these were vampires that were going out to attack because they were vampires. You're Kate McKinnon Dovakin, who goes out and attacks and happens to be a vampire. It's true, it's true. It's a, it's a drastically different part of one's identity. Now, oh, those kettles are light. I am selling them. Yeah, you, they, they have some <laughs> odd weights for things. Yeah. Kettles, super fucking light. I tr- I had a... I mean, the troll skulls make sense for being so heavy. But then you get things like plates that weigh 10 pounds or something. Yeah, it's weird. It's a serving... Trinkets, it's made of pure men. lead and That's serving <laughs> and gravity. That's what this plate's made of. <laughs> Your leads and manners. Uh, yeah. Awful lot of apples. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of stupid things in my inventory. So... Nothing of me really, like, uh, everything I have is too good for him. Oh, you, unless you're going to enchant that ring or get you know, that steel armor could probably go. You're not going to wear it. You got that nifty hide <laughs> on you. Yeah, I'm not really a heavy armor guy either, so... Uh, so so many so- random sort birds. Maybe you, are, uh, maybe you are saving those to enchant <laughs> later. Mm. I won't judge you yet. Hmm. I need things to enchant. I need uh, I need soul gems. I need weapons. I also need gold, by the way. Wait. I know. <laughs> In the for- <laughs> Oh, I think a guard just said he knows you. Book it. Oh wait. <laughs> what? No, they all know me. This, this <laughs> white friend is like fucking Cheers, man. Everybody knows my name. I'm Kate McKinnon, the Dover King. Oh yeah, you're applause. probably applause. Applause. <laughs> Sorry. You're probably not the... Uh, yeah, no, not the Jarl. That other thing. <laughs> the Thane? Thane, that's it. Yeah, the other Thane. Yeah. No, I don't know if I'm a Thane yet. I've heard that you can become Thane. It happens to you when you do a dragon. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Something related with dragons and graybeards. I'm, I'm just know. in before everyone goes, No! The small child. Is that a fire over there? That could have be. Have you been setting fire. fires? Who's setting a fire that's not me? Oh, I have a thing where... This is, this is on my laptop. So I have a thing where fires show up before the braziers do. So I think God is talking to me until I walk ten feet forward. I'm like, oh, this is a brazier. It's fine. I don't need to kill everyone in this village and fuck their corpses. With my boobs. Or however women do that. So... I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to hear where you're discussing straight people sex. So they're old people, uh, you know, graphics. Mm-hmm. Are creepy as shit. Do you get to the cloud? Everyone's a everyone's a wrinkled mummy, like more so than the Draeger. Everyone. <laughs> but everyone here is creepy as shit. It's just the Draeger looks like looks like you could just give them some lotion and they'd be fine. But. What? And th- those people, they look like horrid skin b- monsters. <laughs> one thing I respect about this game is that, one, the children are adorable, but no one is hot. Like, there's no fan service here. Like, even if leather armor does have, like, a slit up to my thigh, like, it just doesn't feel like I'm trying to be sexual. I, I am amazing. I am the Dova King. I am Kate McKinnon. I'm a featured player. Lucia. Lady, could you spare a coin? Oh, God damn, now that you ask. Thank you. Divine. Yay! I successfully navigated uh, uh, right, text when you menu. Because yeah, <laughs> I hope you feel good about yourself because you did a good thing. I do. This shit like was hit or miss when it was adapted from the console when it comes to choosing menu options. So you, you, yeah. and now I wish that I had um, fucking 
given her money before I went to a shop. Whatever. There's the final, there's the maze at the top in the place with the stuff. I'm going to see what I can do with him. Dude, dial it back a bit. Like, do whatever your street preacher and creepiness requires you to do. I hear that you could kill him if you uh, get your bow high enough and you get the right... You know, you just get right over that half wall and kind of stealth snipe him. <laughs> yeah. You are the dreamer and the dream. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, he, he'd be crazy, though. He'd be totally crazy. I, know, I do occasionally like walking by him and hearing him just... Uh, <laughs> what's the word? Pro Prolithicize? Pro Prostatize, I think? That's the one, yeah. So, uh, you yeah. know... Oh, Oh, of Skyrim, of Tamriel. No, he's he's great. He's great for uh, not flavor, but um, e ah, what's it called? Um, he establishes the setting. He's part of the the, the, the tapestry. Yeah, that was build the world. Like I have, I have no fucking idea what he's talking about. I've never paid attention to him for a single day in my fucking life. But um. But you know what? You know him when you you know where you are when you hear. Him. Yeah, no, no, no. He he builds the setting. He's he's great. He's a great character. It's just the 80th time you've heard him give that speech, or start to hear him to give that speech. Your lives, Tamriel, or something. I don't know. Whatever. He's he's a drama king. He's dialed back a notch. I just, I just don't know how that's an effective method of um, of preaching to people. How to get them to worship, you know, Jesus or whatever. Like, is he for Jesus? Is he a Jesus guy? Yeah, <laughs> close enough. All right. Now I now disenchant things. Yeah, Skyrim Jesus. Mm -hmm. Skyrim Jesus. I want to know. Like, is he more cool or less cool than K-Less? The Unforgettable. I'm going to say more cool. Whoa. I better start paying attention to this shit. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, K-Less, K-Less might have led the Cleon people to, you know, their glory. Um, but uh, Talos, he, that guy, he, he murdered a bunch of high elves. What, like Kalos couldn't murder a bunch of high elves if necessary? I'm just saying, did you see Kalos here murdering high elves? No. Like, and look, they, they, the Cleons still were power from either the Romulans or the Herc. And I think that if they had been able to develop it on their own, they could have killed whole fucking buttloads of Vulcans, who are the elves of space. Yeah, but uh, high elves are the Romulans of space. Yeah, they kind of are. That's fair. That's fair. I'm trying to see um, what what will make this greatsword worth more, worth more money that these barterers obviously don't have, dicks that they are. I'm still new to enchanting. My enchanting level is. Well, abysmal. L look at the meter, okay? It's it's 15 out of 14, out of 15 out of 16, 15 out of 99. You're right. It was worth the walk over here for you to uh, work on that some more. Well, yeah. Any improvement's technically a massive improvement, so <laughs> let's see what happens. But yeah, I like how all of them require a skull. If you want to enchant anything with a table, like you have to you have to get a skull in there. Can you make a table without a skull? No. It requires a skull. Skull, table, hand, and prints. Or places to put your hand. It's it's not me, it's just the law. Well yeah, you know, you gotta keep you gotta give people's handprints because terrorism, man. Yeah. I mean do you remember when um uh as Sauron flew those two ornithopters into the two towers, that was a tragic day for, for Temerio. That was just awful. Okay, you're just totally mis mixing your genres here. <laughs> Actually, well, I kind of like it. <laughs> I keep going. It's, it's all the same genre. But yeah, no. It's great. <laughs> now you're just being racist. 
I would, I'd absolutely love, love a magic card that would let me sacrifice an ornithopter to let it deal damage to a, something or whatever. To a tower? <laughs> Monster. Or is this tower, specifically a land? Sacrifice an ornithopter, <laughs> destroy a land. Also, Middle Earth or something. Fuck it. Just keep digging that hole, sir. <laughs> I, I do love Small Winder. Small. Well, Winder, because it wins people, because it takes their stamina. So. <laughs> I, I, I do like the weapons in here. Like, they all feel. There are like eight categories of weapons, right? Mm-hmm. Like, iron, imperial ish, and then. Orgish and ebony, and then dwarven, elven, and glass. I think you're a little off there. I mean, dwar- I mean, if you, I guess if you go in a circle, that works. But it, it it branches off to you know the lighter stuff versus the heavier stuff. Hmm. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, that's the gist of it. I mean, Daedric is the best, but it's also the he- heaviest, and ebony's <laughs> in the, in next. But there's also glass, which is way lighter, but about, about the equivalent to ebony. Hmm. Interesting. Because I think I looked at it, and... and actually, going the heavy route requires, like, three perks, and going the light route requires, like, two perks. It's a perk less, which is a, which is a lot. It's a lot. You're right. There are no perks to going the light route. <laughs> I'm sorry. I amuse myself sometimes. I think having a solid gold reckless is amazing. I think I think people should respect that. That seems fair. <laughs> a gold reckless. So I wouldn't expect you to understand the musical nuances of ZZ Top. That is also fair. Yeah. Nothing against ZZ Top. <laughs> Just don't listen to it too much. Now, when I worked at uh, when I worked at Fye, some guy won like all the ZZ Top albums, and it's like some of these are redundant, and you're an idiot because you are literally buying everything with their name on it. Like, get a life. That's yeah, that seems legit. <laughs> Just really everything with ZZ Top. That's, that's what we're going for here. Yeah, get right. my enchanting in- increase, and therefore my level increase. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. It's good. It's good. It's good timing. I, um, so have you contracted werewolf vampirism? I don't know. I um, I think I've tried talking to the companions before. I want to say there's a reason I don't talk to them more often. Because I'm pretty sure they're in... I was sneaking my way up to Whiterun. And they're like, Hey, you... We are the companions, and we're totally badass. And my and my vamp my dialogue options were, oh, how do I become a member of the companions? Two, I'd love to become a companion. You guys are so cool. Three, do you have time for me to give you a BJ right now? Because you're a companion. So, I am sort of hesitant to become a member of the companions because the narrative wants it so much. I'm like, I don't. I'm why do you, kidding, why do you hate the companions so much? They just want to be your friend. And have well, me give them a BJ behind a barn outside of White Run. No, thank you, sir. Kate McKinnon. I'm a Dover King. Classy <laughs> Dover King. <laughs> You're the, the queen of the Hummer. <laughs> it's Humvee Master, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hummer Master. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try so, and work on that. I'm just gonna try to enchant everything I can, sell it for a little more. Next seeking. Yeah, that's nice. I need I need better better soul gems than this because all my soul gems are kind of shit. Conf- Take a look. This guy's always complaining about conflicts. It's not like he ever has to go out and fight dragons. No, he fucking doesn't. But you know he does have? 500 gold for me to take with my enchanted items. Well, there's that. Plus maybe spells I don't have? I don't know. Yeah, it's... I mean, spells are so... Eh. It's like some of them, best things ever. Mm. Other times, meh. It, it's so much effort to actually do things with them. Why bother? Yeah. I don't know, I... 
Mike, we're happy with Fireball. Oh, of course, who wouldn't be happy with Fireball? <laughs> I would be total, uh, totes happy with Fireball. Yeah. Like, I'm sure you can get perks that just make it cost less and do a little more damage, so why bother, you know? And I'm sure by the point I can afford something else, I can just shoot out a slow but steady stream of fireballs while running away from something, so, you know, who gives a fuck? You've just uh, encapsulated the entirety of my tactics. <laughs> well, maybe I'll try to think of something better then. Let's see how that goes. Go, reckless. All right, let's go. What we got here? Hey, he's a thousand gold? Did I give him a thousand gold? I need probably, that money back. I didn't mean you to have a thousand things. gold. Yeah. I'll yeah, was... be honest, I wasn't really paying attention to the nuances of your fine bargaining skills. Yeah. Ah, fuck. I do have 5,000 gold, though, but I need him to have less money. That's what this is about at this point. Maybe, maybe go fuck yourself, man. Just think about that. You were to go fuck you know, if you've got the aptitude, yourself. You join the mages I'm not good at sign language, but, but you should just you should just fuck off, dude. Just fuck right off. So. I gotta get a mod, uh, mod that lets me kill children, because I hate the Jarl's son in this place. There is... Oh, God. <laughs> Such a dick. A kid. Um, there is a mod that... I thought I had it installed. There is a mod that's called the High King of Skyrim mod. Or, you know, obviously High Queen of Skyrim. But anyway, it allows you to make political connections with... Like, major dudes in space in the Civil War that I'm trying super hard to ignore. Well, I believe it will let you A, kill everyone, B, put anyone to death, and C, no, no, what I said, what I said, yeah, no, it's, <laughs> like, is that not enough? So, like, once you do, like, a political mini game or mini quest or whatever, it'll, Wait, it'll get on that, I know. so. <laughs> what can I say? I'm famous. I'm on SNL. Yeah, I wish, I wish there was, like, a catapult at the top of... Of Dragon's Reach that would just catapult me to White Run somewhere. <laughs> I am so tired of walking down these stairs, Terry. Like I'm sure it'll get better as I play more, but as for right now, it's a bit tedious. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll go to other other towns and they'll be nice and laid out, and I won't have to like walk incredible distances to get wherever I want to go. Prepare to be disappointed. Oh hey! <laughs> don't don't tread on my dreams. You look can't high, help friend. that. The I mean, your dreams are made of uh, tread. <laughs> hey, shut up, you guy! You you don't know what machines are that they can stuff bad things. Jerk! You you, t you told him. Yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> oh, wow. he, is just, he has such flagless enthusiasm. Fl unflagging enthusiasm. So. Ma, you're home. And, oh, right. Holy crap. Frodnar. I have a child. Here's the deal. Um, I okay. may have killed his parents right on my first night's ten. out. No so Ready? it seemed... Go. What you're saying is you're some sort of monster. I am not a monster. I'm only a vampire who kills parents and adopts their children. If anything, I'm like a, a matronly Highlander. So... <laughs> you know what? That made it a whole lot better. I'm glad you clarified. I'm great with kids. I'm good with people. <laughs> I'm a people person. <laughs> Fucking kid, man. You know, else, you know who else was good with kids? <laughs> who? My mom. Such a <laughs> saint. <laughs> well, I was waiting for Hitler. I didn't know if he'd swerve and go with Stalin. Stalin, who's was, obviously was Stalin bad at kids. Was uh, Stalin good with kids? I don't think he was. <laughs> yeah, I, I will admit that Stalin probably did not cheat at hide and seek. But, um, you know, fuck Stalin. He probably lost hide and seek a lot. So. Think about that. Yeah, that seems fair. Yeah, that's yeah no, he, like all the time, I'm sure. He was just yeah, like, Vas, do you want to play hide and seek, comrade? And he's like, I will not cheat. And then 
he just loses. And if you're like, how are you the premier of the Soviet Union? You're so bad at hide and seek. Shh, no you don't. You don't know me. <laughs> I'm beginning to think these guards don't know you in, like, the biblical whoa, whoa, whoa. sense. They Watch definitely the do not know me in the biblical This is hardly magic. This is barely a cantrip. Where are you? I poop better. Magic. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Oh, God, Check no. Hey, I'm in. I better find himself. someone. Remember where I, I was complaining him. about how, how uh, that what's his face at the general store got killed in, Don, in uh, Dawn Guard by the yeah, vampire? Yeah. yeah, Nazim totally gets murdered in, by the Dawn Guard of the vampire. And you know what? It is so cathartic. That lady will stop talking to you like you did it. <laughs> weird. No, awesome. And yeah, a little weird. Fear too. Not. Who's her husband? What's his name? Oh, I'm sure I'll find out. Hey! He's like, he's like the counts, uh, uh, counselor or whatever for the Yarl. Oh. Interesting. I just, I think I went hide and seek because my child realized I don't love him enough. <laughs> I think that's what happens. Like, completed hide and seek. You don't love your child. <laughs> or maybe, maybe that's my child that I just. No, I cannot tell one kid from the other. Hey, you my uh, fuck. Are you my Are you my daddy? <laughs> um, no. Maybe. Familial relationships I'm in this game. A, I'm an awful parent. <laughs> That's basically what I'm getting at here, kids. I am. I'm worse. I'd even, oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Shh. Shut the fuck why up. Does, why does this guy sound? Why does he always sound like he's trying to sell you a hooker? <laughs> habit, I suppose. Because yeah. yeah. you, Kate McKinnon, come in for hookers often, don't you? Well, other people come into him for hookers. They're all like, what can you do for me? To your name? They're like, what about a hooker? It's like, yeah, but you like a hooker. <laughs> you want a woman? Oh, Good yeah. time? Mm -hmm. I've got a back room that... I'd never go into. Please come back. <laughs> like, yeah, I just had sex. Don't be weird about this. <laughs> uh, Britons, what can you say? You You're an encouragable lot. You're an humor, poetry, and... Aye, that I do. <laughs> I follow my life. Yeah, don't know about all that, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> well, he's hell boring. Hey, it's no wood. fun getting pushed around all the time. <laughs> well, sex yes. to be you then, kid. Wraith bullies me all the time. All the elders think I'm a milk drinker because I can't fight. Weird. Nobody understands. Nobody understands no one who can't fight. I can sympathize with that. Have you thought about learning fireball and burning your enemies Forever. to death? <laughs> I'll pay you too. <laughs> My whole life savings. I mean, it's a viable <laughs> option, kid. Yeah. One you should probably look into. Oh, Trust good. me, someone who calls They'll you a milk drinker you. will stop when I they can't, don't have lips. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking side quests from children Bye. now, by the way. And your tongue sharper. Yeah. Yeah, perhaps the uh, ye old city guard should keep an eye on Kate. Oh, kill a kid. Myself. I'll be like way too serious. Like he's a drug dealer in my building. You listen to me, just antipus. <laughs> what is it? Smack? Coke? Not in my neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah. So, this kid, <laughs> I'm the Dovaki, and this kid paid me two septums. You better straighten the fuck up. I'll fucking touch so, you, kid. I clicked wicker baskets, if you didn't know. Because after my adventuring is done, I would like to run a Pier 1. I think that's a reasonable dream for a man to have. A woman to have. A so, Kate McKinnon to have. If you would. She, um, you know, the residents here in White Run may become a Pier 1 where, like, you just have all the wicker on display. The people come in and they buy the wicker. And, you know, it's a business. It's a business is what it's going to be. So, those are my plans long term because I'm apparently going to give birth to all of these dragons or whatever as the dragonborn or dragon birth or however this main plot pans out. So, after, that's like a one-time thing, though. Then we're, I'm going to have a hundred, a hundred big dragon, dragon mouse. mouse. Yeah. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's a problem. 
I'm not going to be able to do adventure. I'm going to have to look. I can. I barely take care of Frodenar here. I'm obviously an awful parent. So, um, you know. It's true. Yeah, I, I admit it. You know, it's it's, no sh- it's a little shame of that, but basically, it's it's no good if I hide it. So I'm gonna need a way to sustain myself and take care of my dragon babies plus my adopted babies. Um, yeah. And I, I think lo- I love you, dragon vampire mom. <laughs> see, that's a it's a rare thing. I mean, oftentimes you'll see dragon vampire wizards um, <laughs> portrayed poorly in the media. And I would like to change that perception by being a good uh, dragon vampire wizard mother to my children. You know, to, 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 to really, really change some minds, really, really change hearts and minds in White Run and perhaps even Skyrim and all of Tamriel. So I think a good part of that is to, to quit my adventuring ways, you know, one day. And. To, to do something really socially responsible, to give back to the community. And I think being the manager and owner of a of Pier 1 White Run is is a good way to do that. You know, it's a good business. I'm giving people what they want, things that are important to them, things that make make their houses feel like a home. And I don't want to be a part of that. It's You're providing employment? I mean... Yes, yeah, see? Yeah, Totally. Well, I mean, actually, anyone who sells anything in White Run just kind of stands behind a desk until I come to them to to buy and sell it. But you know, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it's uh, I would Still, be selling where, as well where, as buying. So. Where would they be without you and the desk? Exactly, and I can I can be me and the desk. Um, I can have an assistant who will give out side quests if, say, I've been killed in a horrible accident. Um, I think. I think you know I'm I'm providing something one way or the other, so I, it's a modest dream. But I think I think modest dreams are really you know attainable and reasonable. No one's ever like that modest dream is gonna to gonna hurt people. No, no, no. You're a dreamer, you Kate something? McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> a foolish dreamer. See, and I don't want anyone to ever say that about me. I want people to say, Kate McKinnon, you've got a good head on your shoulders. That's a reasonable business plan for life. You know, I don't, I, don't, I think that's it's, it's a place a person wants to be. Where, um, just reasonable. You know, just reasonable. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just so, saying that after this is all over, I should be able to get a, you know, a nice little villa in the country and you know, I, I can watch my grand my grand dragons grow up yeah. yeah grand dragons baby dragons you know it could be whatever it is I'm, I'm about to bore into this world <laughs> and the, the citizens of white run would just love to have wicker baskets that look strangely familiar but certainly aren't theirs so yeah because yeah. that would be stealing that's wrong yeah it's definitely mm-hmm. wrong I mean, uh, Kate McKinnon would have nothing to do with that. Like, nothing, nothing to do. I'm just um, I'm trying to get my craftable items into one one end table. Because I would cer- certainly show Lydia how much I trust her I and, and, and care for shield. her. Whatever the crap. I don't know. I don't Either know what she's way. doing. Oh, don't worry. Cool. Don't worry about Lydia. I mean, really, she can. She does her own thing most of the time. And she's a good. She's a good kid. She's a good kid. <laughs> it's pretty handy. So, I am unloading all of these baskets into the basket pile. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure, fine. So they can't. They can't really catch on fire. Honestly. And I know that these are high quality baskets. That that more than anything could sell your Pier One. Oh yeah, yeah they're good. Cause like other other wicker basket sellers might be like, oh, mine won't catch fire, but then I can actually throw mine into a fire. Got some and, good pieces uh, out here if you're looking to buy. And they really More do inside. physically not catch fire. It's, yeah, they don't. Yeah, it's great. It's pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. I don't claim to be the best bluff 
Have you met my father? Okay. He's a yeah. steward. Well, she up she should probably start claiming to be the best blacksmith. The finest Seems like she could do better business. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't like coming. I, I always sell her stuff. I never buy anything from her because she's not the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Mm. And she, she, it's nice that she lets me know this first, but. Yeah, it's got to be hurting business. Her husband's got to be like. Can we just change the slogan to uh, "One of the best blacksmiths in White White Run"? You know, the best at what we do, maybe. Yeah. Well, it was a thought. Back to our freezing cold house. Yeah, I'm really sure. Technology-wise, it, it, it changes a lot. A bit of this and a bit of that. Everyone sounds like they're coming on to you to varying degrees. Yeah. Or is a prostitute. Remember, so what do you got? A little of this, a little of that. You looking for any of it? It's cuts, fresh from the wild. <laughs> some they call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. <laughs> well, some probably were right. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh... Good yeah. I don't know why there's still a few dialogue options for... Because they obviously record dialogue options for all of these people, but then they're just like, meh, cut and paste, cut and paste. So you don't have a guy in the, uh... I enjoy this work well enough. In the room. For the thirsty, why would you not even... Food for the hungry. Get them some different lines, but whatever. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Eh. On a comparative Let's scale, it's still way better than a lot of games, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's so many hundreds, Take possibly even thousands of characters. I can't... It's really hard to nitpick Skyrim because the aim's so high. So high. This is true. Hmm? Ah, you're so awful and cheap, lady. I'll show you to your room, right? Yeah, way. you do that. <laughs> Boom Star has come at last. The season on ending. Yeah, let's go. Let's go bad things. Thirteen bad things. What are you looking at? I'm what are not you looking at? Stupid kid. Dumb. Stupidness. Boys are oh. Why did you follow me in my home? Yeah, why? <laughs> it's still one of the weirdest yeah. things they do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I get why it happens. It's just a mechanics thing. The way it works, but ugh, it's mm. creepy. It's convenient in this case, though. Yeah, very modern. Yeah, I talked to her anyway. Do the side quest with this child who hired me. Hey, hey, leave him alone. Yay. I was just kidding around. Besides, if he'd only kiss me, I wouldn't have to beat him up all the time. Oh. Sexual harassment and children. That's adorable. I mean, <laughs> and it's creepy, but so adorable. Adobo. She totally just likes him. It's cute. <laughs> Except for the, you know, also creepy because the. <laughs> hmm. Sexual harassment. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, do what you gotta. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> I like how you put that. Yeah, sexual harassment in children. Well, you do what you gotta. <laughs> mm. You monster. <laughs> you monster. I believe I said you monster first. You monster. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, plates. Plates and meat. That's what you need more of. Really? This is my stolen stuff drawer, so... That's good, in case the guards ever come into your house and go, Hey, do you have any stuff in your... You know, never mind. I'm <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna search everything. Uh, just remember, in Skyrim, there is no due process. <laughs> 
<laughs> and all the guards have photographic memories. <laughs> they do, which is why I have fireballs. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'll do it to guards. Yeah. They're just doing their jobs of holding the law. But we're going I'm, drill, I'm sorry to get you into the onto all of this admin. I um I didn't realize how much I had to do. No, no, it's cool. No, I might try to do it in a few more. There's important stuff here. I mean, half of this game is managing your inventory. <laughs> it should not. It should not be. It should not be. So. Uh. I don't know what crazy backwater you're from, but <laughs> my Skyrim. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, like you just you just want to do stuff when you're uh, when you're you're watching game or playing a game. You want to do stuff instead of watching someone fuck with their inventory. So. I always love the sound effects where everything you do sounds like you're crushing bugs. I mean, when you're does. dealing with crushed bug parts. <laughs> and let's oh. delicately put this. Back in there. <laughs> well, those, those double <laughs> no, sound like crushed bug parts. No harm, no foul there. It's cool, guys. Mm. Like I'm sliding everything across the table into one bag or the other. <laughs> I can get rid of these horker tusks. Uh, not the horker tusks. All right, fine. The horker tusks stay. But no, you should, probably should have gotten rid of those horker tusks. They weren't doing you any good. Hey, they're good for something. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sure. Probably? Maybe? Yeah, who knows? I, I assume they're just like the mammoth tusks. There's probably like one quest somewhere for them. Huh. Eh, they might be. But mostly, um... Mostly they're just worth their cash value. You get rid of them. But whatever, don't feel like doing that. So I guess I, I think I have been in our car. Not sure where else I get so many swamp fungal pods. Right, so, um, to it, not that I don't love this, but, uh, I'm probably going to be getting out of this here shortly. Quite the wardrobe, too. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm, I'm just beat. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll see you later, man. Later. All right, bye. I can go to desktop. Go to desktop, goddamn. What's wrong with you? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, area.